his ass right in front of me. Took 35 people along with him. Everything's changed. Graduate from selection, you make it to the unit. Typically, you end up getting signed as an assaulter. You begin as an assaulter and you kind of move up the ranks. At a certain point, you're offered to go over to snipers if you want. I like the assaulter side of the house just because there seems to be a little bit more action. You're always in the mix, you're clearing the rooms, or as a sniper, you might be outside, hold security, doing that job. I like to be a little bit more in the mix, a fast pace of clearing room to room. We have tons of different types of kit depending on what you're doing. Salters can end up, you know, swimming over the beach, taking down a target on land. So that's one set of kit. There might be a different set of kit if we're going to do shipboarding. Weapons usually outfitted with obviously infrared lasers, I'm wearing night vision goggles. Probably about half these salters carry thermal. If I roll an M4 or 416 style weapon suppressed, I typically carry a pistol that's also suppressed just to keep us a little quieter. If I roll an MP7, which is pretty quiet suppressed, then I roll what I call the pirate gun, or 40mm grenade launcher. Years of training to get to the level of what you'd call tier 1 guy. You know, I spent years at a regular SEAL team before screening, going through a long selection process to even cut it, and make it to tier 1. Once I was in, you know, I spent 8 years at a squadron, and I'm still learning. Still getting better and better. I consider these Salter the bread and butter of the team. They're the ones that have to actually go and clear the objective. Everybody's got their different jobs. These Salters are the ones who are going to go through the door, clear the objective, and deal with what's on the other side. Everybody says they're an Assaulter, but I'd say very few actually are. <laughs>